Do you still have that VHS tape of an episode of Law and Order from an alternate universe where libertarian socialism won but was corrupted? I love that tape. and I love that universe. Maybe we could visit it a couple times in the upcoming hour. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Law and Order. Law... Yeah, here's the Law and Order episode. Well, I'm going to crack a brewski. Do you want one? Oh, no, thank you. Alcohol, I heard, causes cancer at a similar rate to cigarettes. Is that true? That's what I heard, yeah. Oh, no shit. And I'll hit play. In the utopian justice system, the people are represented by two separate but equally important groups. The People's Defense Forces, who investigate crime, and the People's District Attorneys, who represent the transcendent, immortal idea of justice. These are their stories. All rise. Brett O'Shea, approach the stand. Hello. Now, it's no secret to the courtroom that you've been an influential member of the utopian cadre that's helped build the libertarian, socialist, democratic, confederalist, library socialism revolution. It brings the People's Tribunal no joy to try you for your crimes. Oh, God, what? You are accused of not spitting when the Soviet Union... Is mentioned. Well, it was a hot day and I didn't have a lot of water in my system. You guys gave me free Mountain Dew, but that's not really conducive to spitting. In any case, I defend the Soviet Union, but go on. You didn't spit, Mr. O'Shea. Again, I'm parched. I still won't spit, but I'm just saying I don't have any spit also. Bailiff, bring the defendant some water. Give him the opportunity to not spit. Okay, this is a huge glass of water, but I will drink it in front of the court. (laughs) Additionally, Mr. O'Shea, you are accused of denying the existence of authoritarianism. Yeah, I mean, I don't think necessarily that authoritarianism is a helpful heretic device by which to understand past proletarian movements, if that's your question. When you were doing your monthly check-in for your ideological position, you failed to check off the box which asserts that you are against stifling bureaucracy. My pen actually just genuinely ran out of ink, and I didn't mean to not check that box. I mean, even as a Marxist-Leninist, I would have checked that box. It was a pen issue at the end of the day. A likely story. Well, it's true. I think the court decides what's true. Next to the stand, I want to call a former comrade and colleague of yours. Aaron Moritz, please. That sack of shit. God damn it. First, I just want to say that I do recognize all the hard work Brett put into the revolution. But we always knew we'd have to deal with these sectarian struggles at some point. (sighs) Yes, I've seen him not spit many times wow fucking traitor order order no i'm not doing this because it's something that i want to do i like brett i always liked brett he was my best friend i wouldn't say that but there's a higher calling than just sticking up for your friends there's something called virtue and i don't want to live in a society where people are afraid to speak their mind openly I don't want to live in a society where, you know, friends are turning on one another and forming show trials, revolutionary tribunals. I don't want to live in a world that's a bureaucratic nightmare. Nobody who cares about people wants that. And that is why we all always spit when anyone says the word Soviet Union. How do you feel about the Soviet Union now that you are have enough water in your mouth? I am hydrated, but I still think that the Soviet Union, given its flaws and its excesses and errors, was still ultimately a unprecedented show of proletarian power, and as such, I just won't spit when I hear the name. Well, it's clear, Mr. O'Shea, that you're an unrepentant authoritarian who is in favor of stifling bureaucracy. I don't think anyone here will deny that. I deny that. Before you're inevitably found guilty of these particularly heinous crimes, we want to be fair to you and give you the opportunity to self-crit to reduce your sentence. Okay, then one thing that I am very critical about is Aaron. I thought that we were close comrades. We fought side by side in the Great War. Uh, We've killed numerous fascists together. I invited him into my bedroom, you know, (laughs) thinking that we'd all have a good time together. And this is how it's repaid to me. So yeah, I'm going to be critical of my previous friendship choices. But beyond that, I have nothing to apologize for. Wow. Shut the fuck up, Aaron. I think that Aaron's going to be spending a lot of time with your wife where you're going. As a judge, my job is often really difficult. But fortunately, this one's really easy. He's guilty and will be sentenced to a minimum of 10 years in the luxury rehabilitation gulag with an option to re-up if he's unrepentant. Goddamn libertarian authoritarians. Three months later, 
Brett O'Shea is writing a letter to his wife from prison. Dearest wife, everything on my end is well. I could not be treated better by my captors. I get three meals a day, all of them vegan and extremely healthy. I have exercise routines and self-actualization therapy in the evenings. I'm starting to understand myself on whole new levels. In any case, I'm still pissed about being locked up. I was and still remain correct to this very day. I wish these libertarian authoritarians would understand that. And honestly, what's up with the spitting thing? I've never been a fan of, of spitting in the first place. I've always sort of found it off-putting and gross. Yes, it is libertarian and collectivist spit, but at the end of the day, it's still spit. And I just don't like it. I've never liked it. Send Aaron and the kids my best regards. Hopefully I'll see you all very soon. I have to get back to my Casper mattress and HDTV in my cell. Talk to you later. Mr. O'Shea, it's time for your mandatory daily second massage at 11.30 a.m. I've already had a massage today. I had three massages yesterday. I'm so loose, I could snap a tiger's neck in half. I don't want to go have another massage set. Sorry, Mr. O'Shea. We want to make sure that our prisoners' muscles are supple and relaxed so they can come to correct conclusions. You can come feel me. Feel how supple I am. All right, let's have a gander here. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, I don't know. Feel, you feel a little tense. It feels ah. like you've still got a little bit of stress deep down. Do you have down. something in your pocket? Ow. I'm not going to ask you again. It's time for the mandatory massage. But if you're good, at the end of the massage, there will be cheesecake. It's one of the guards' birthday. 